Yeah, good evening. My name is Will Lathrop, and thank you to the League of Minority Voters for having me here this evening. Um, I'm sure what you all want to hear right now is another political talk. Um, sad to say this is the last one, I think, tonight. Um, and I'm also your first chance tonight to see what a real, live, in-person Republican looks like. <laughs> and I'm gonna save time afterwards. If you wanna come and just over here and just take a selfie with one, <laughs> poke and prod it a little bit, see, see how they react. But in all seriousness, if you wanna kinda learn more about me, I'm gonna stick around and you can, you, you can learn more. But I'm just gonna say this and I'll say it quickly. It is really no secret that Oregon is suffering from crime. People all across the state don't feel safe. And I've learned from my, I mean, it's in the media every day. And I've learned from my experience in law enforcement that the people who suffer most from crime are people living in underserved and marginalized groups. So when we fail to enforce the law, we fail to protect the people that need the law the most. I've spent my entire life, not my entire life, my entire adult life, my, my entire career, protecting people that are living on the margins from exploitation, abuse, and violence. I represent a dawn of a new leadership, a, a leadership that's gonna be, on, uh, gonna be focused on forcing the law, protecting people, and not politics. So I'll just give you my background real quick and, and what I hope to do. I was a prosecutor, I'm, I'm a long time Oregonian, a sixth generation Oregonian, but I, was a, I started my law career as a prosecutor and most of that time was spent as a child sex abuse prosecutor. I also prosecuted cases of domestic violence, homicide, adult sexual assault, and human trafficking. But most of my time in Oregon was focused on protecting children from violence. Um, after that, I was recruited to, wa to Washington, D.C. to do that at the national level. And from Washington, D.C., I was hired to lead multinational teams in Africa. So for the last eight years, I've been leading teams first in East Africa. I was working to protect widows from land violence. And then I was transferred over to West Africa, where I worked in conjunction with the U.S. State Department UNICEF and the Ghanaian government to rescue child trafficking victims and prosecute uh, their traffickers. I've come back to Oregon because in the last 10 years, we have really started to struggle to protect people from violence. And like I said, the people that need that protection the most. And so as your next attorney general, the attorney general is the preeminent law enforcement officer. And as your next attorney general, I'm going to enforce the law and protect people first. It is also the preeminent um, anti-corruption wing of government. And I'm gonna hold corrupt officials accountable. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand right over there and if you wanna take a picture with a Republican, I, if I had hair, I would, it would be a better picture, I, I, but I am as God made me. So thank you so much and um, I appreciate the opportunity.